can we talk about Super Jack and how incredible he was? Former Italy international Gattuso once said this about Jack Wilshire. He might not be super fast, but he's got great skills. He's very technical. When he gets the ball, he knows exactly where to send it. He has the mentality of an English player, but the ability of a Spanish player. On his day, he really did play like a prime Barcelona player. In fact, speaking of the Catalans, Danny Alves referred to Wilshire as a great player and compared his potential to that of Xavi and Iniesta. Now, being compared to great midfielders is a good compliment, but being compared to Xavi and Iniesta, that's a whole nother universe, but that didn't faze Jack Wilshire at all. In fact, he was once asked about that game he played against Barcelona in 2011 on Twitter recently, and he actually said he pocketed them all, all the midfielders, and he actually did, but more on that game later. So, how did Wilshire get to this point, and did he really reach this huge expectation ceiling? We will find out. Wilshire actually grew up as a West Ham fan, with Di Canio being his idol, but he eventually joined the Arsenal Academy in October of 2001 at the age of nine. By the time he was 15, he was named as the captain of the under 16s team. He was then given a start for the under 18s team by then academy manager Steve Bold. He later scored a hat-trick against the Watford under-18 side and finished the season with 13 goals in just 18 appearances. Keep in mind, he was only 15 at the time. In the latter part of the 2007-2008 season, he scored a memorable goal against the West Ham Reserves, but this was more special as Arsene Wenger was present at the game. His incredible breakthrough did not stop there, as he went on to win a couple of individual accolades and helped in Arsenal's 2009 FA Youth Cup win, scoring and assisting in the final. Arsene Wenger gave him a place in Arsenal's first team squad for the 2008-2009 season at the age of 16 years and 256 days, becoming Arsenal's youngest ever league debutant, breaking Cesc Fabregas' record in the process. He signed his first professional contract in January of 2009, but exactly one year later, he was loaned out to Bolton for the remainder of the 2009-2010 season. He impressed very much during his four-month loan spell, helping Bolton finish nine points above the relegation zone. They made an attempt to extend his loan spell, but this was rejected as Arsene Wenger wanted him back for the next campaign. And what a decision this was. After returning to the Emirates, things clicked right away for Wilshire. First off, he received his first England call-up, becoming the 10th youngest ever player to play for the Three Lions. That was his most successful season in terms of appearances as well, playing 35 games in the league and a total of 49 in all competitions. The games he missed were due to suspensions and not injury. He never came anywhere close to 49 appearances in an Arsenal shirt again. In a match against Barcelona in the Champions League round of 16 first leg, Jack Wilshere truly announced himself. A man of the match performance at only 19 years of age against a midfield that had Xavi, Iniesta and Busquets. Remember he was being compared to them just a couple of months earlier, but in this match he made it look like these players were looking up to him. He finished the season as Arsenal's player of the campaign and was included in the PFA team of the season alongside some, some good names that campaign, the likes of Tevez, the likes of Nani, amongst others. After the departures of Fabregas and Nasri, Wilshire was tipped to be the go-to guy for the 2011-2012 season, but unfortunately this was where the injury problems began. Well, remember he played 35 out of the 38 Premier League matches the previous season and ended up with 49 appearances in total? He only missed three in the league that campaign? Well, it was not the same for the 2011-2012 season. How many games do you think he actually played? I'll, I'll let you have a guess. And I'm guessing that guess that you've guessed, I probably said guessed a lot of times, was nowhere near what the actual number was. He actually played zero games the entire campaign year. From having 49 appearances in the 2010-2011 season, in the 2011-2012 season he made zero after picking up an injury and having to go through a surgery at the beginning of the campaign. 
that ankle injury did not only ruin his club career at the time, but also the international career that was basically just getting started. He ended up missing the 2012 Euros and the 2012 Olympic Games as well. He did recover to make 25 appearances in the 2012-2013 season, but his most memorable moments came in the following seasons between 2014 and 2015. Now, Wilshire was never known for his goal scoring ability during his time with the Gunners, and the stats can confirm that as he only scored 7 Premier League goals in his 10 years at the Emirates. I don't think Jack minded that as two of those goals were voted as goals of the season. Quality over quantity. That is what Jack Wilshire was all about. The first one in the 2013-2014 season, this amazing team goal against Norwich. I mean, you can never get tired of watching this. The flicks with Olivier Giroud were absolutely amazing. The very next season, he won the same award once more. Like that goal against Norwich was not enough, he went and did it again the following campaign. Nowhere near a team goal like it was the previous campaign, this was all about his left foot, scoring a cracking goal against West Brom. The likes of Buckham and Rooney have won the goal of the season award more than once, but Wilshire is the only one to win it in back-to-back -back seasons. It got better in terms of team accolades as well. He was obviously part of the 2014 and 2015 FA Cup wins for Arsenal, coming on as a sub in both finals. All positives, right? Nope. Jack Wilshire was never one to shy away from a bit of controversy. In 2014, he did this to the Manchester City fans and got a two-match ban. And after Arsenal's FA Cup win against Aston Villa during a parade, he did this. What do we think of Tottenham? Shit! What do we think of shit? Tottenham! What a guy. What a legend. Growing up as a West Ham fan and also playing for Arsenal, you can understand why he really doesn't like Tottenham. And we really did enjoy that. But the FA didn't as he was charged for that particular incident. I'm sure Arsenal fans wouldn't have minded paying his fine for those particular actions though. Over the next two seasons, he only made five appearances for Arsenal, but there is an explanation this time. At the beginning of the 2016-2017 season, he played a couple of games before being loaned out to Bournemouth. He did okay during his loan spell there and returned to Arsenal, but unfortunately once more his injuries returned and he only made two appearances that campaign. He did manage 20 games in Arsene Wenger's last season, which also turned out to be Jack Wilshere's last season as well. To cap it off, he finished his Arsenal career with 197 appearances and 14 goals. And also to throw it in, a couple of fights as well. He really did not care about your size, just ask Maran Fellaini. What about his international career, you might be asking? How did that go? Well, decent I'd say. He featured 34 times, including at the 2014 World Cup in Brazil, and also in a few qualifying matches and friendlies. In fact, in the Euro 2016 qualifying campaign, he picked up six Man of the Match awards out of seven games, which is just crazy. And he actually only scored two goals for England, but remember the seven goals he scored for Arsenal? Two of them won Goal of the Season awards, I mean, I think you can say the same thing about his two goals for England. I mean, look at the quality. He scored both of those goals in the same game and both were absolutely incredible. Wilshire was amazing in terms of his combination play, passing, movement and leadership. I actually believe he would have become Arsenal's permanent captain if it wasn't for the injuries. Another very unlucky Arsenal player in my opinion. Also considering the number of times he was fouled every single game he played, you've got to feel for him. So that was Super Jack. On his day, minus the injuries, the likes of Bastian Schweinsteiger, Marco Royce and Danny Elvis believed he was one of the best midfielders during that time. But what about Chief? Do you think he was world class? Do you think he would have ended up as Arsenal captain? Let us know in the comment section. Now, Wilshire wasn't the only player to light up the Emirates as a teenager. Theo Walcott had his special moments as well. Click on the video on screen to check out Walcott's player profile. Thank you for watching. Keep staying safe and I'll catch up with you guys on the next one.